Okay, so my painting process on these little blocks of wood starts with finding the wood, usually in a dumpster or a carpenter friend will come and deliver them. And I take them as they are and begin to work with them. Here we go, the first phase I used um, Joe's Prime Clear Gesso and one of the Lightfast acrylic paints, blended those together to get a nice bold color for the first phase of my painting. I'm starting to just layer the colors, layer the dimension, so that when I go back to the final phase and sand it, there's proof that time and steps have evolved. From there I go and draw my lines, the grid, whatever it is I want to do, and apply a first layer of paint. And to do that I use the modeling paste, Joe's Prime really good modeling paste, and Joe's Prime Light Fast Acrylic. And both the clear gesso and the modeling paste don't do anything to affect the color. The color still stays vibrant, which is what I'm after. Then I go in, once that has dried, I will take the complementary colors usually and apply a second coat. And again, there I'm using the modeling paste and the paint. Because the modeling paste allows the consistency to be thick and um, so that when I go back and sand, there's some real character there. And that only happens with the thick paint. In my eyes, the thin paint doesn't work. I need there to be um, a thick consistency to the paint. All right, so I've set up the background for my paintings almost. Next is sanding. I go back and I sand the paintings and see how the blues come through the greens or the reds. It's by sanding that the layers below are revealed. And then I might go back over and add color to the top, and that's when I add my objects, is after it's been sanded. Then after we sand and put the objects on top, that's when I add the satin varnish, which is you know, what you can see over here. It's starting to dry. Some of that white is turning clear, and, and the painting is giving off this nice shiny layer that just really pulls out all these layers underneath. So after I put the object on the painting and signed my name, I go back and look for my words of wisdom. Let's think of one from Van Gogh. What is done in love is done well. I'll write that on the side. Here we have anything in this world that gets you to slow down is a blessing. I think we're getting that. Um, so once the words are on the side, then I seal it all together. All the layers, all the vibrant colors, the words of wisdom, my signature, the bird or the flowers or the abstract object, they all get sealed in with the satin varnish. And that's really the exciting part for me because after that varnish dries, and you see it drying over here, after the varnish dries, then you have the final product. Let's see if I can pull one off without knocking the whole thing over. You see the tinted gesso or primer in the background. You see my pencil lines. That's part of what excites me about people's art is seeing the human hand. So not covering up that pencil line is a way to see the artist at work. Um, you can see some layers. You see that blue behind the orange. You see a little dollop of color there. The purple primer or gesso coming through the green. There's the patch, and I chose just to do black and white stripes over a red. And then the objects, which are my little birds. The words on the side. Love in spite of everything. Van Gogh. So in spite of all the craziness going on in the world, Van Gogh reminds us just to love. Um, and then I sealed it. So you see that there's this shininess to it that this one doesn't quite yet have. Are you able to see that difference? Just for me, that varnish pulls it all together. So this is ready for a shelf or a wall. Thank you for being with me through all these steps of the process. I hope that you find your own way to create and bring more beauty into the world despite 
hectic schedules or you know obstacles just it's so important to express yourself in a way and using color and and wood and paint and all of Cheap Joe's um, exciting colors just whatever you can do to get make time in your life to make beauty is important and thank you to all of you who have supported my art it means the world to me that this is a way that I can make a living and keep making art I'm just very grateful so thank you for your time today